so we have got another store update for you so I have just done some listing this morning on the new store, so obviously we're on the new store at the moment. Um, and I also checked my active listings and that. We actually had a message from someone saying, uh, could I take, uh, would you take £13 or something for this item? I'll show you what the item is in a second. But when I got to the message, which is a day later, the item had gone up to like 29 quid or something. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate but i wasn't going to accept 13 quid for it anyway so that's pretty decent anyway so um yeah so we're on the dashboard here 1148 in sales but the good thing is we do have as mentioned in a, sec a second ago an auction with reserve met for 29 quid so i'll go into my active listings now so you can see here we've got 145 pounds 75 in fixed price items We've got £29 in auctions that will sell, which is just this one item down here, this LEGO Speed Champions. We've got 17 items on the store now. Uh, I have to admit, as I said in another video, I've kind of been off and on with this store. I haven't been doing loads on it, but it's not necessarily a store that, as I've said in the past, I'm going to do loads on. But we'll go down, we'll have a look at a few of the new listings, and we'll have a look at a few of these items here. Also, something important to state as well, when I was doing my listing this morning, I said in, well, I said actually a couple of videos um, that my views, I was, I wasn't too happy with the views on some of the items. So I've actually done, um, I went, when I was doing my listing this morning, I made sure when I was in the item specifics to just have a look at a few of them and add in a few more details to these new listings. So we'll possibly see what happens with those anyway. Uh, now, I've, I've put these on. Is this this morning I put these on? Uh, oh, no, it's these four I put on. Did I put four or five on? I thought I'd put five on. I not put five on. Oh, uh, no, that's not it. Where's that other one? I thought I put five on. Oh, I'll put another auction on that. So I'll put this Iron Man auction on up here. That's what's confusing me. Um, so, yeah, I've got an Iron, Iron Man 2 Mark II movie series figure. And I put these four on here. This Lego Brickheads Easter Bunny. Lego Brickheads Dragon Dance Guy Chinese New Year. Uh, Lego Speed Champions and Lego City one there. So you can see, uh, yeah, I've just got quantity one. No views or anything because I put them on. Uh, not long ago at all, possibly, I don't know, an hour ago or something. Um, so, we've got the, I put a few other things on Buy It Now as well. I actually transferred them over to Buy It Now instead of auction because I want to see what happens with Buy It Now. And I also realised as well, when I put something on at auction for uh, seven days, I'm paying the 36 pence, right? But I'm only getting seven days. When I put them on and buy it now, I get the 30 days and I'm paying the 36 pence. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, Adam, how long have you been doing reselling? You should know this. Well, I don't know this because I've had a store for so long and it's just all inclusive in the store price when you have a store. So I did, I've not really understood how it is for someone coming back into reselling. So this is good for me because it, it takes me back to basics and think, it makes me think, oh, right, so that's how it is, is it? So, um... Yeah, so I'll put a few other items on Bite now. I am still going to do a good few auctions. I'm possibly going to uh, do one lot of auctions on, you know, the first time round on one item. Then possibly convert them to Bite now. Um, or I'll possibly do auctions for certain things, as I've said. And then possibly Bite now as for that. But it is good now in hindsight sight, thinking about that. And also, I'll possibly be able to get a few more views on them as well over the 30 days opposed to seven days but we'll see anyway my, my intention is still to stick with auctions the best i can and still definitely do a lot with auctions but yeah i am uh, putting a few things on by it now as well more than i first originally thought so yeah we've got a few other items on here anyway we've got a few items on by it now that have been on Oh, only, yeah, only a day or so, actually. These must have been relist. I must have done these yesterday. Uh, that one's been on for uh, about three days, four days. That's got 22 views. Uh, no watches or anything yet. We have had a bid, as I say, on that Speed Champion set there. £29 bid, which is really cool. I actually got this RA ages ago, and I just wanted this one gone. I paid 13 quid for it RA. And, uh, yeah, that which, which would have been the um, full retail price, I think, for it. But yeah, I'm just happy to get it gone. And 29 quid, there's still a bit of profit in that. So I'm pretty happy with that. 11 watches on it though, so that's cool. Again, I mean, we've got three days left on some of these items here. 
But you look, 17 views, 12 views, 13 views, 18 views. It doesn't seem like I'm getting many views on here. Now, these ones specifically, I haven't actually gone in and changed item specifics yet. So, if I go in and I maybe add, well not change them, but if I maybe go in and add a few item specifics, I, I should be able to get some more views on that. But we'll see, it'll be interesting to see whether my views actually improve on a few of these items down here that I have actually done a few more item specifics for. So that'll be interesting. So possibly in the next update, I might just check them, or maybe the, the update after next, uh, possibly when about you know, three, four days, maybe seven days have elapsed on these, and just see what the views are, and possibly if all these, or some of these are over, like, 30 views, that's a little bit of an increase, so, yeah, it might be interesting, but, um, I don't know, it might not work like that, it might not, not get that many views. In fact, in the comments, because as, as I've said on, um, other videos in the past, the other store updates. I don't really look at my views too much on my other store, my main store, because I have so many items on there, and I might just look at views every now and then, but not to a huge extent. But if you know sort of your average views on an item, maybe on a seven day auction or on a 30 day buy it now, just whack them down below. See if, is it that this is quite average, or is it that essentially um, I should be getting more than this? Because it seems to me from my experience as what I've had on the other store, and as I say, I have looked at views every now and then, that these are a little bit low. I wouldn't say incredibly low, but I would say a little bit low. Um, I would say more what this one has got up here, the Speed Champions. It's been on for four days or so, and that's got 56 views. That's probably more like it, or possibly even a little bit more than that. But these ones with seven views, I mean, even like 12 views, 13 views, 17 views, that seems a little bit low to me. So, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to hear from you guys down below. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for that update. I don't think there's anything else to say. So I had that message. Got, I've gone over the £100 in fixed price items, which is cool. I'm on 17 active now. Uh, there isn't, I'll just go back to my overview, actually. So yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Um, it says here, actually. No, let's do... Actually, let's just go into this. Underperforming. Let me just uh, check that. Oh no, it's saying it's saying underperforming listings one. Oh, there it is. No, you know you have to click on that there, don't you? Um, underperforming listings. Uh, available qual quality one. Days unsold free. Analyze listing. Let's go into this. This is interesting, here we go. Because I actually, I said on a previous video I was going to go into the analytics. Well, I went into this page a few days ago and there was no information to be displayed. I don't know if that's because it's a new store and that obviously uh, there's not enough time elapsed for information to be displayed. But it was a bit odd anyway. But um, yeah, let's. I've, I don't think I've ever actually gone into this specific page. So this is interesting. 30, so... Basically, is it telling me to price it at about 20 quid? Yeah, it's telling me to price it at about 20 quid. So then I can get it sold. So, hang on a minute. Well, why don't we actually change the price on this? Because I think I paid like, what, three, four quid for this? Change the price on that to 20 quid. Free post. And let's see now, over the next few days, let's see if this one actually sells. Because by this, it looks like, just from a very, very quick glance, that we're looking probably about 20 quid rather than the 24. But obviously I put it on at 24 because I thought that would be the maximum I could get for it. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to 20 quid looking at this. And it's interesting this actually. So yeah, I'll do that. I've whacked that at 20 quid. Let's see in the next few days, see if I get a sale on that, or see if I get any more views or any more watches on it, see if something happens on it. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting anyway. Possibly it could do with a couple more uh, bits in that title there, because this is probably one of the titles that is a little bit smaller than some of the other items I've got on. But yeah, this is interesting actually. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what happens on that. But anyway, I think I'll leave it there, guys. I'll just go back to overview again. Just see if we're not missing anything. I don't think don't think we're really missing anything. Um, so yeah, actually, I think I need to post it and await in your feedback. I need to actually do some feedback for something. So I'll do that in a sec. I'll do that. That was for my first item I sold it, I guess. So I'll do that in a sec. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. I think that, um, yeah, I think that's all I need to talk about today. So yeah, interesting. Going good, exciting. Um, it's just exciting for me to actually go in and just have a new store and, and feel out like um, uh, the early days of how I was doing it. But feel out the early days of how I was doing it 
in a different way with with obviously the perspective of me now having a larger store and and doing it I've had that experience in the larger store but I've kind of it's weird I've kind of forgotten how it was as a smaller store and so it's interesting to get back to that and to to try different things out and stuff it it does uh, it really interests me but anyway so I'll leave it there guys thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next one Watch it, I slow down.